Nick here, Brevis Test Customs. Today we're having a look at a uh, new filament here from Fatus. Uh, you may have seen them before on a previous video. Uh, they're a hot-end manufacturer who have uh, ventured into doing some filaments. So they'll send us a few rolls here. Uh, we've got the glass fibre, um, nylon. Uh, you can see the printed temps here, 280 to 320, 70 to 80 bed temp on PEI sheet, which is what we use, uh, no fan. Uh, this is actually quite a nice colour compared to most of the glass fibres I've seen. They're actually quite a grey colour, whereas this is more closer to a, sort of an off-white. And also, we have uh, nylon carbon fibre here. This actually prints at a little bit lower temperature, which is interesting. Um, basically the same sort of settings, speeds and everything else otherwise. Um, runs a little bit colder on the bed temp as well, which is, yeah. Um, they also did send us some of the support materials, but without having a dual extruder nozzle, this is a little bit hard to test. We may just test this as a standalone material, just see what it's like, because obviously it's got to print at quite a high temp to be in the same sort of settings, because if you have a look at the settings on most of them, they're fairly close um, temperature-wise in terms of what bed temp they are, so they're obviously designed to work together. So we have to test them later once we maybe get a dual nozzle or something else as well. Um, so we've done some testing on the parts, uh, we've done single wall testing on the glass fibre, a um, couple of little bits that have come off on the nozzle but this print quite nice. This is just us on a default nylon setter, uh, we've just adjusted the temperatures to suit material, we always sort of go bang in the middle of what they recommend. Uh, this is the same print, still got a little bit of the brim left on it but this is the carbon fibre, still gets good flex. A little bit warpy at the top, which you'd expect with nylon, because you know those temps are no fan. And then we moved across to our, well, this is just a little test piece we made up a little while ago. It's sort of test of stringing between two little small parts, because sometimes I used to have issues where it tried to coast between the two. Um, you can, as you can see, this has come out really nicely. Once again, these are both done in the same settings, just the temperatures changed a little bit to account. So, and then this is the glass fiber one. Once again, it's come out really, really nice. And then we moved on to doing a benchy. Now the benchy and the carbon fiber came out nice, apart from the little bits up the front. You see, I think this is where the start and stop was, so it started to get a little bit hot there. But otherwise, you know, the chimney, everything's formed well, even the overhangs in the window. For a nylon, that's come out really nice. Now we move across to the glass fiber. Now this one didn't quite come out as nicely. I'm not quite sure why. As you can see, the area that was an issue on the carbon fiber, it's more prominent on this. Uh, obviously we can do more tweaking, this is just a first look on a very basic setting that we use for nylon to see how it prints out of the box. Uh, we're not going to you know, try to make these look amazing with weeks and weeks of testing, so it's just showing a, what they can do, perform like, without you know any major sort of testing. And then we've moved on, we've done a couple of little strength tests here. Just um, We're going to do a little bit of a flex test. Might as well do that now and see if we can get these to snap, how far they go before they snap. Oh, broke. Now it took quite a lot of force. That was the glass fiber. And now let's try it on the carbon. The carbon's actually got, feels like it flexes a lot more. As you can see, it's actually, I can't actually break that. It's starting to, starting to fatigue, as you can see from the white. But if we bend it back the other way, I'm sure it'll snap. Still, still together. Bring it back the other way. Try twist it. Yeah, there we go. It's finally shared, but it's actually a lot stronger than the glass fiber. But it's actually got more flex, which is interesting. I thought the flex wise would be about the same, but it appears the carbon's got more flex and it's stronger. So I believe they're both around the same price. I'm not sure if they've actually officially released these yet, but. For me, the carbon fiber is going to be more useful anyway for a lot of the RC car arms and stuff. So we're going to do further testing with this. Um, like I said, this is just a short initial look at this filament. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of the range, the link is here. Uh, I know they've got some PETG and some other stuff coming because uh, this is some. This is their manual here. So this is some of the other filaments that I know they've got on the way. Tough PETG ASA, which is like a heat resistant AB ABS. Um, they've got this flex, they've got even a foam material which will be interesting, I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. Tough PA which is going to be a nylon, PVA which is going to be another support material. Um, 
ultra PA, so I'm not sure is the tough and ultra, one's an industrial grade, but they say they're both industrial grade, so I'm not sure what the difference between the two are. Then obviously the ones we've tested here. And then the, the support materials which we showed. And then I've also got a um, eco nylon carbon, which is obviously going to be renewable. I'm guessing it'll be using a renewable swill, which would be nice to see. So uh, if you guys want to check out some of the other materials, their hot ends, which I highly recommend. I've had no issues with it at all. All the information is going to be below. Until the next video, have a good one.